peace and blessings to all. I hope you all are doing well. I know it's been a minute and I didn't quit. I didn't give up. I just took a little break for something. Um, but I'm back and better than ever, baby. Uh, Jesus loves you and I love you. Um, but I, I have a revelation. Uh, I just wanted to break something down to you guys really quick. Um, so one of the top uh, family names in, 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 I guess you could say the Hollywood industry or whatever, right? Is the Wayne's family, right? Uh, but yeah, I'm just using their, their uh, background and everything to make my point. So you got the, the older brother, then you got the second oldest, then you got uh, Sean, Marlon, and then so on and so forth, right? Um, the most well-known is probably Marlon. Then after that, it's probably the second oldest, and then Sean, and then the oldest, and then whatever, right? Then you got their kids, you know, and their nephews and nieces and things of this nature. But I'm saying all this to say, right? Notice how they keep it in the family, right? They aren't arguing and being jealous and envious of you, of one another because of one another's success. I'm, I'm just saying this on the outside looking in. I don't know what's going on in their family. I don't know. I'm just saying. On the outside looking in, you know, they, they seem to be a prospering family and everything like that. So why do you make that point, Shy? My point is, instead of being combative to one another and being envious and jealous and things of this nature and always trying to be number one and things of this nature, let's figure out what you do well, what I do well, what you don't do well, what I don't do well. My strength and your weakness may go together. Your strength and my weakness may go together. Iron sharpens iron. So back to the family, the oldest one, he's not the funniest. That's Marlon, right? But he does producing and directing well, behind the scenes. Marlon is the funniest, the, the comedic one. Not saying he probably can't do directing and producing, but he doesn't do it as well as his brother, right? Then the second oldest, uh, I don't know, probably, I'm just throwing it out here, he, he's probably the best all around, right? While Sean is, um, no disrespect, probably doesn't have the qualities the other have, others have, but he's a good looking man. You know, he's the model of the family and things of that nature, right? So I'm saying all this to say, look at what you do well. Don't look at what other people do well and then try to copy that. Be your own person. Be the own person uh, that God made you to be, man. You have your own task, your own assignment, your own talents, your own hidden talents that you don't even know of. Do what you do well. Do your strengths well and then some. And then take your weaknesses and sharpen your weaknesses. So that way you can become whole and complete in a unity. Then you can go out there and be a unity with others and have the same mind, a sound mind as Christ had, man. That's what it's all about. It's not out here to be power hungry, money hungry, greedy, um, just chasing things that don't matter, trying to always be number one. You're not gonna be number one. In your task and your assignment, you will be. But I'm saying once you get out there, you know, and and work as a team, there is no I in team. There truly isn't. Everybody has an important role to play. The people that you think are good leaders, if they're out there to their um to their Understaff and they're out here. No, go do this. Go do that. Go do, do, do all in their face doing all that. That's not a good leader. 
it's hey man hey i know you're not feeling too good right can you do this one thing for me and then after that man i can get you, you know we look out right then boom that person gonna look out for the manager you know, you know what i'm saying we looking out for each other but always di uh, differentiate i don't even know if i pronounced that right but always make sure you know when boss is talking and when servant is talking because at the end of the day we're all here to serve one another so always distinguish the two that's a better word <laughs> But yeah, man, I just wanted to give y'all that revelation, man. Don't be out here jealous, envious of nobody, of their life, or what they're doing, or whatever, man. You have your own strengths that you can multiply. And even your weaknesses, you can always sharpen, man. Iron sharpens iron, man. We're not supposed to be out here putting each other down and all this and that, man. Now, there will be people, the wicked and everything, that will come and try to put you down, man. But words, actions whatever man none of that crap matters keep pushing forward because at the end of the day literally i don't think you really truly understand this literally at the end of the day everything that you see around you everything god created will pass away it won't matter and who knows in the amount of time what really matters uh let's say this what what will really matter 2,000 years from now You going back and forth Arguing with somebody about something petty and stupid Or you fulfilling uh, Your assignment And living up to your potential in life Let that marinate man But look, I love y'all Y'all stay blessed Jesus loves you And I love you But you know who loves you more man I'm out